Hello, my lovely data family. So 1st of March 2024 was my last day at Expedia. So after working there for almost 2.5 years as a data engineer, finally, it was time to say goodbye. It was definitely a fantastic journey. And if you are following me for last two, three weeks, then you definitely know this news that I have joined a new company named as Prophecy which is definitely a kind of startup and having only 100, 120 employees approximately. And again, my designation in Prophecy is going to be data engineer. And for those people who don't know about Prophecy and what they actually do. So Prophecy is basically a low code data transformation platform where you can create your scalable data pipelines in lightning speed. So I wanted to give this update to all of you about my new job. And most important, I wanted to talk about few really important topics, which I know you might want to ask like a question and that is how was my experience working at Expedia and what all things I worked there and how did I take that decision to move from Expedia? What was the reason behind it? And when I was looking out for the job opportunities, how did I get the job opportunity for Prophecy? What other companies and job offers I cracked? And how did I make the decision to join the startup like the Prophecy? And what kind of things I will be working there as a data engineer? So I will be answering all these questions in today's video. So make sure you watch it till the very end. And if you're new to the channel, then make sure to do subscribe right now because lots of amazing content is actually waiting for you. And before getting into the main topic, a very quick announcement for all the aspiring data scientists who actually dream to become a data scientist, crack a good company with a good package, but at the same time, they have a fear of losing it or quitting data science in between because of the complexities and the confusion about the data science skill set. So it doesn't matter what kind of background you are coming from or you don't have a programming knowledge, you don't know even about the ABCD of data domain or the data science. We Grow Data Skills have launched our very first batch of data science bootcamp. And in this three months of bootcamp, you will be learning everything from the basics to the advanced, including your projects and portfolio portfolio part and you all know grow data skills always believe in the quality and affordability so we have kept our promise and again we are not doing any fake promises of job guarantees etc but a proper placement assistance will be provided from our side so that you can target relevant opportunities since this is our very first batch of data science we will keep the number of seats very limited live classes will be starting from 13th of april and for these limited number of seats early bird offer has started so use the early bird offer code and the enrollment link has been given in the description or you can visit www.growdataskills.com to quickly quickly enroll in this first ever data science bootcamp you will be learning everything in the live classes from the top-notch data scientist who is already working in the industry proper quizzes assignments interview questions and the interview preparation guide everything will be there now i don't want to talk much about the quality and the kind of impact we are creating because the success of our students already speaks about it so hurry up enroll right now because the seats are feeling really fast so talking about my experience at Expedia as I said that was fantastic because in 2021 when I was moving from Amazon my first ask to join a new company that I was looking for that kind of company where I can get the work around the real-time streaming application so Expedia fulfilled that criteria that was the reason I joined and after joining the Expedia if you talk about the work-life balance that was definitely really good I got a really solid team. My bonding with my entire team was amazing. We inspired each other. We learned from each other. So the whole environment, whole vibe was amazing. Similarly, talking about the architects, the manager and the leadership and other teams I was working with, those were also top notch. And if you talk about the relationship, that bond was really amazing. Expedia literally helped me to get a very vast exposure of working in the streaming pipeline and specifically the uh, modern data engineering standards when it comes to build the scalable data pipelines. In Expedia, I was primarily working for the finance data, means building the streaming pipeline for all the financial stuff within the Expedia. So starting from the day one itself, my learnings have been really good. And I would definitely say that Expedia has added a great, great value in my skill set. And that's why I will definitely admire it all the time. So what all tech stack as a data engineer I learned at Expedia. So as I said, I was working on the streaming application. So I got a really good opportunity to deep dive into the Apache Flink, different aspect of it. And Confluent Kafka was there, AWS was there. Similarly, Oracle, NoSQL databases like Cassandra and Scylla DB. Then there I worked on Kubernetes, EMR, used Docker there, 
GitHub, GitHub Actions, Jenkins, and the Spinnaker for all the CI CD related stuff. For alerting, monitoring, and data governance, I got the exposure on the Datadog, the PagerDuty, Splunk dashboarding, and apart from all these things, got good add ons like the Snowflake, Iceberg, Apache Spark, and so many other interesting use cases, which definitely enhanced my technical skills. And because of the cross team collaborations, it definitely improved my soft skills plus the team engagement and my collaboration capabilities as well. So 9 out of 10 for all those wonderful experiences. Now the big question is why did I decide to move out from Expedia? So there are just two main reasons behind it. Nothing apart from that. And if you are just waiting for some controversial stuff, so probably you will be disappointed because it did not happen. So the first reason was for the last four or five months, I was feeling saturated in terms of the new learning or the challenging use cases, plus some sort of monotonous work and monotonous task which definitely I was not enjoying that much. And I feel you all can relate with that because time to time and day by day technologies are changing very fast. So you have to keep on working on challenging stuff so that time to time you are also learning new things and you are not just stuck into the monotonous work. So that was one of the reason. And the second reason was the frequent higher level of leadership changes, not the leadership directly I was working with, but the top management and the uh, higher authorities. So because of that, there was a like direct, direct impact in the development progress of different products, which we were working as a team. And mostly those impacts were related to the decision making. And we were always blogged to move things into something successful. And due to all those reasons, most of the time we felt that we are blogged to create something which is running successfully and solving the actual customer problems. So as an engineer, the most satisfactory thing which can happen if I have built something along with my team and if it is actually going till the end where we are as an engineer seeing the customer impact, then nothing can come as close to as this thing when it comes to the satisfaction part. And I hope you all can relate uh, with that part. So this is exactly what happened due to all those frequent changes. That was a direct impact. and. I did not like it at all. And that was the major thing which actually motivated that, okay, Shashank, now it's time to go for a different opportunity where all these kind of challenges are not there and things are, let's say, fast in terms of the development, the decision making, and I can see the direct impact uh, on the customer when we are building something. Plus in the short span of time, I would like to work on different, different challenging things. And that's how I made my decision to move out from Expedia. So how did I get the job opportunity for the data engineering role at Prophecy? So when I decided to move out from Expedia, although I decided, but I wasn't looking actively for the job opportunities, I was like, okay, if something meaningful comes, then I will explore that. That was just my mindset. Else I will maybe give some more couple of months to Expedia to get things fixed probably on the higher authorities or whatever I am expecting. So that time the very first opportunity I got for the Google and that was for the uh, data application engineer and successfully I cracked that opportunity as well and I got a really good offer with a good compensation number. All those things were very fascinating. But one thing which again probably disappointed me not to go for the Google that was the team and domain I will be working for which I came to know at the later stage that the team which I will be working for it will be for uh, you can say employee services uh, kind of thing. So now you can imagine here that what kind of challenging use cases I will be working or what kind of uh, tech uh, skills I may add on there or the kind of data volume the data scale. So definitely for these type of use cases, it's not going to be that much satisfactory because in Amazon, like probably luckily and fortunately, I was into the similar kind of team where I knew how much volume is there and how much challenging use cases are there. So I did not want to go into the similar kind of situation again. So I definitely declined that offer. And at the same point of time, the recruiter from the prophecy reached out to me on LinkedIn for this data engineering uh, job opportunity. And into my content creation journey, if you have seen time to time, I have talked a lot of about the low code ETL platforms. And uh, because of that curiosity, in last six to eight months, I have explored different low code detail platforms. So I knew about prophecy even before that one, like when recruiter reached out to me, even before that I knew little bit about the prophecy. 
so definitely when that opportunity came it sound interesting and uh, that time i decided okay let's go ahead with the interview process so if you all want to know about the interview process for the google and what i went through in the prophecy drop a comment i will definitely try to cover it in the next video so all my interview round happened at prophecy and successfully i cracked all of them and then on 4th of march 2024 i joined prophecy as a data engineer so when i was moving out from expedia and was deciding to go into the prophecy so i had to make that kind of decision to join a startup and i will tell you why previously worked at amazon so talking about the uh, you can say mindset of working in a well established firm or mnc and being into that comfort zone where most of the things are very channelized right like a very long hierarchy within the company itself and then you are working so in last couple of years like i got used to of all those things so definitely when i got to know more about the prophecy then i decided no i think this is a right time where i should come out from my comfort zone and again i should push myself to get into a kind of system where things are quite fast because we all know in startups things move really really fast and we have to build things quickly right we have to meet the timelines and as an engineer you always have a upper hand to explore the different dimensions of whatever you are working on and similarly in my case as a data engineer in prophecy i will be exploring different dimensions of it because we at prophecy as a data engineer will be creating different data solutions for different clients so in the short span of time we will be working with the different different clients different use case different domain so all those uh, cumulative learnings would be really good and as i said as a data engineer will be working on different use cases case studies so time to time that tech stack will also keep on changing because x company might use the data breaks or something else or the y company might use the aws emr s3 or any other things so that's why i thought yes this is a good choice and i should go for it so that's what i had to share with all of you about my new updates and the new journey and since i have explained everything about my journey now what do you think about my decision like moving out from the expedia and working at the startup what's your thought what's your take on this feel free to share all your experience in the comment section i would be happy to read all those things so i hope all of you enjoyed this video if yes then make sure to drop a like button and share with all of your friends who are aspiring data engineers and stuck into this kind of decision making of switching from one company to another company and don't forget to become a part of our first ever 1.0 batch of data scientist bootcamp where you are going to learn everything from basic to advanced in just Three months. The enrollment link has been given in the description. Early bird offer is going on, and the live classes are starting from 13th of April. So hurry up, enroll right now, and we will see you in the live classes. Till then, just keep exploring data.